Wait, how am I going to do this? Do I need coffee? Because coffee canceled out smells, right? I don't know if I want to spray this on me. Should I put it on a paper? I wasn't prepared for this. The leather smell. So, did I just say color? What am I saying? <laughs> no. Hey dolls, yes here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also my other social media links will be linked down below in case you want to keep up with me on other platforms. So now that we got that intro out of the way, let's just get right into it. Today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches of the new MAC Shade Scents. I don't know why I thought they were called MAC Shade Essence. I think I might have said that on my snap, so... <laughs> So now they have perfumes for all of their iconic lipsticks, which are Ruby Woo, Cream de Nude, I think that's how you say that, Candy Yum Yum, Heroin, Velvet Teddy, and Lady Danger. So it's super cool. Um, Max sent over this really cool big package, which is amazing. If you follow me on Snapchat or you watch my Instagram story, then you saw that. Um, here we are. So we don't want the light to get it, but... oh. I dropped the candy, yum yum candy. Okay, so anyway, so it comes in this huge package like this. And it's so cool because every one of the little things has like a, a little drawer thing. It comes with the lipstick, with the fragrance, and then like a cute little thing. So this one came with like a little pillow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing a review of the scents. I've not smelled any of them. I am very sensitive to smell though, so hopefully I don't get like a killer migraine after this. <sighs> I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers, but it doesn't matter because I'm doing this for you guys because I love you. So this is what the packaging of the actual bottle looks like. It's really nice, very chic, so that now let's get into smelling it. <sighs> okay. Wait, how am I going to do this? Do I need coffee? Because coffee canceled out smells, right? I don't know if I want to spray this on me. Should I put it on a paper? I wasn't prepared for this. So I made my own little tester bottle. <coughs> no, this is not a bottle. Tester, paper, bottle, whatever. Okay. Oops. Mmm. Oh my god, it's exactly what Mac described it as. Like a woody floral. <sighs> mm. It smells good. It smells very like like sophisticated, like like I totally see the woody floral. I see it or I smell it. Ooh, I'm already getting a headache though cuz it is strong. Yeah, so Ruby Woo definitely like a hot bitch wearing red, you know, like very sexy, very like, uh, you know, very sexy. Ooh, yeah. That smells good. That smells good. Um, probably not something that I would wear every day at all. I mean, I would say I would probably wear this maybe like for an occasion, like twice a month, if that. Like, I feel like if it would go with like a sexy, sexy red outfit. And it actually came with like a bunch of little diamonds in the packaging, which was super cute. So yeah, if you're into like woody floral colors, colors, smells, this is okay. So this is Candy Yum Yum. Um, I haven't smelled it yet, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my favorite one out of all of them, just because it's pink. And pink usually means super fruity, super girly, and I'm into super super fruity girly. Uh, fragrances like Justin Bieber so Mac describes this as fruity floral so there you go that's exactly what I just said uh let me take out my little oh no this is the other one that I used mm. Yes. Oh my god. Mmm, this smells so good. Actually, it reminds me of like a Justin Bieber fragrance. I'm not sure which one. I have all of them, but... Yes. <sighs> Is it awkward like you guys watching me smell this paper? Is that weird? I feel like I'm like losing my... I'm gonna get a headache right now and my eyes are just... Ugh. But this smells really good. 
this is something that I would wear like every day because I like smelling like candy every day because why not? Yeah. So this is definitely my fave. I mean, we've only tried out two, but as of now, it's definitely my favorite. And how cute is the packaging? Like, the packaging on top is pink. I mean, obviously, you get the gist of it. They all kind of have, like, the matte see-through color and then the, um, the color of whatever the lipstick is on top. But aren't they so cute? They're super adorable. Okay, so now we are on to Cream de Nude, which MAC describes as an amber musk. I don't even know what that means. Um, but the packaging, it looks like this. This is so cute. It goes perfectly with the outfit that I'm wearing today. Very nude. Um, I would probably wear a lips, a lips, or a lip liner with this lipstick, but I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like just as is. So let's get my little homemade paper test thing and... The reason why I'm not spraying them on myself is because I don't want to smell like a mixture of like 15 different, you know, fragrances. Because that'll probably like smell like vomit or something, so. Okay. Mmm. Cream de nude. Do I have the wrong, the right one? Because it says it would smell like an amber musk, but it smells almost like it's not whatever amber musk means it's not coming to me like it I don't feel like that's the right way to describe it I feel like it's more like vanilla-y so I'm kind of confused mm, I would say this is more of like um like a very like neutral vanilla-y like you don't want to smell too strong but you want to smell good um so I would say it's, yeah, I would say it's more like a vanilla, a vanilla, like, chill smell. Like, just something that would go with this outfit. Like, very, like, brown, nude, neutral, vanilla, you know? It just, like, goes. So, yeah, I would have to disagree with Amber Musk. I don't, I don't think so. I can feel a headache coming on. Ride it through. Ride it through ride it through okay so now we're moving on to velvet teddy i absolutely love this lipstick it's like a nude with a brown undertone super sexy i love it you know i love my nudes so moving on to the packaging it looks just like the other ones it's a little bit darker though than the cream de nude one so let's get to smelling where are my little papers where are they i'm just gonna have to make another one because I can't find the official one, but all right, let's go. Ooh, wait, Mac describes this as wild honey. Mm, I can see where the honey comes in, but I would almost describe it more as like, amber husk honey like honestly if it wasn't for the honey smell in this i would almost think that they confused the cream de nude and velvet teddy i mean obviously they didn't who am i to tell mac you know but in my opinion in my fragrance expertise opinion <laughs> no i totally smell the honey though it smells like like if you put honey on like a manly man you know like it still has that kind of like man like strong but but it smells like honey so just as like yeah that's perfect like putting honey on like a manly man mm-hmm mm-hmm so I I mean I like it I'll have to start experimenting more um with fragrances I'm honestly very like in my box when it comes to that very floral girly Justin Bieber <laughs> um so you know with these I'll get to like you know be out of the box and try different stuff but yeah definitely I would describe it as a man who rolled in honey okay so next up we have Lady Danger and I'd actually never checked out this color this is like a beautiful beautiful like orangey red um and for some reason 
when I think about Lady Danger now, and I think it's because I saw Desi's post on it on Instagram and she described it, something about a fiery Latina. And so now when I think about this, I think of like, you know, salsa or something. I don't know, Latino. Salsa. So anyways, um, the packaging looks very similar to Ruby Woo. Um, this one I actually think is a little bit more intense than the other one. But um, let's go ahead and check out what it smells like. Where's my paper? I keep losing my little papel. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm like ripping out the piece. Okay. All right, so. So, Mac describes this as a woody floriental. Woody floriental. Like floral. Okay. Mm, I see what they're saying. I see the woody. I wish I could share with you guys the images that come to my head when I smell these. It's almost like like I've smelled this before and it takes me back like deja vu to like a day in time or something. Oh, okay. So this takes me back. I was like, what? where does it take me back to? It's taking me back to like... Think about like Marshall's, no, 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 like Michael's or Kirkland's. Think about those sections where they sell the, the little things that you put like in the bathroom. They're like little like crumbly things or little designs and they have smells. And they're like in bags tied up. This is what that smells like. It smells like not something I would wear. I don't think, no. No, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of, you know, the little sections with, I don't know what they're called. Those little things that smell and you could put them in, in like vases and they look cute and they look like rocks or they look like little pieces of wood. That's what this reminds me of. So yeah, probably not something I'll be like, maybe I'll give it to my mom or something or my Nina. God, I'm like on the verge of like a migraine, but I'm really trying to pull through you guys. Okay, so now we've moved on to heroin, and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I think this has to be like my second favorite out of all of them. I absolutely love it. Um, I would think that the smell would be like still kind of girly because, you know, it's purple. Um, but by the looks of the packaging, which is a little bit darker... Um, and what it says, it says that it's actually a woody leather smell. So, I really wouldn't expect this to be woody leather, but let's see. I feel like it's going to be like a cowboy and leather, you know? Because, you know, woody. I don't know where I come up with these, like, examples or ideas. Alright, let's see. It smells just like I thought it was going to smell. And it's not not my favorite. I really wanted heroin to be like one of my faves, but mm, it's definitely woody leather. I want to say my dad has something that smells like this. Um and it actually smells good on him. I actually it reminds me of a Gucci uh, cologne that he has. If I remember, I'll list it down below. If I can go find it in his collection. But, yeah, definitely woody leather. <sighs> Nothing really comes to mind. Just very woody. What comes to mind is my dad's cologne. So, um, yeah, so if you don't like very woody, like, musky smells, then you probably won't like this one. Um... If you are into, like, sweet Justin Bieber smells, I would definitely go with Candy Yum Yum. Um, so, I would say that my favorites out of all of them would be Candy Yum Yum and Cream de Nude. And then, I hope that if you guys were planning on buying some, now you have a better idea of what they smell like. In my opinion, because obviously my woody leather and somebody else's woody leather isn't the same but i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if there's anything you guys specifically want to watch please let me know down below also don't forget to subscribe and hit me up on my other social media sites and i'll talk to you guys soon